This is Judge Joe Brown, and we're listening to We All Be News. News Free Dixie for the 21st century. Well, maybe, yeah, I guess go back to the Confederacy thing because the governor of Tennessee, you know, he said that July 13th was Nathan Bedford Forest Day. And I actually I approached uh, his great great grandson, Kevin Bradley, at the event last Sunday. And I asked him, was it right for taxpayers to pay for the upkeep on your ancestor's grave? He said, yes, it is right, and we're not going to move his body. So you think it's right for taxpayers to pay, like you said earlier? One man, one vote, local, and that tomb and statue, the equestrian statue, is subject to zoning regulation. So also eminent domain. Mm -hmm. City council, if it had the cojones, might decide to exercise eminent domain, convert the park to another use and remove the statue and take it someplace else. They can do it and evict people, live people still breathing for a golf course. So they don't either approve of the family, like you say, they either sign off on it, they can just do it through yeah, eminent, eminent domain. domain. Mm, you think it's going to happen anytime soon? Knowing our city council, <laughs> none likely. Uh, you see, it's like a plantation here, but mm -hmm. the Negroes have no cotton to pick. Mm. And everybody white and blacks trying to get to be an overseer over the plantation that has no cotton to pick. And uh, it's an unholy alliance, let's say. You got people like, uh, what's his name, Otis Sanford, yeah. you know, the house Negro that they pay to write up articles condoning what they do and sound reasonable. But he doesn't know a cause when he sees one. Harold Collins that you got over there who's bought and sold. You've got Sidney Chisholm who is a Democratic Party chairman in the past. A nominal Democrat holds picnics in the summer to take Republican candidates around and introduce them to... Uh, predominantly Democratic audiences. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you've got that kind of thing. So, where are we going here? Uh, either you've been engaging in questionable sexual activity and somebody's threatening you or you're part of the group. You have got money under the table too many times and you're owned or you've committed too many petty crimes or felonies or whatever it may be. So you're blackmailed and or you have too many outside kids. So there are various and sundry ways in this area to keep somebody doing what you want them to do. They are enslaved to their habits and lack of character. Mm. So it is what it is. 